In this video, I show you how to download FFmpeg for Audacity. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end through the full steps and let's go and get straight into this. So FFmpeg is a really useful tool as sometimes you want to either go and import M4A files or you want to go and export M4A files, which do require the FFmpeg type. So let's go and get it. So the first thing you want to do is come to the top left and you want to go and click on edit just here. Then once you're on edit, come all the way to the bottom and go and select preferences and then wait for this to pop up. As you can see, we're in our preferences just here. Then all you want to do is come on this list and go down to libraries. And as you can see, we've gone and got this FF MPEG import export library. And at the minute, it's going to say FF MPEG library not found. So we need to go and download it. So all you need to do is go and click on download, but do keep watching as it isn't quite as straightforward as it may seem. So once you're on here, then all you need to do is either go up and select if you're on Windows or Mac. So I'm going to go and click on FF MPEG installation section. Click here. Then what you want to do is look under installing the FF MPEG import export library on Windows. You want to come to the bottom of this where it says for full instructions, please see installing FFmpeg for Windows, click here. Then it's going to go and take us to the whole guide, but of course we're watching this video so we don't really need it. And what you want to do is go click on go to the external FFmpeg download page, so go click here. Then it's going to go and take us to this site which is called lame.wanzo or something like that. And then all you need to do is go and locate the installer. So this is the one we're going to want, it's an XC installer. So you want to go and click on it just like so, and it's going to go and drop the installer just down here. As you can see, it's a really small download. Then all you want to do is go and locate it. So either it's going to be in your file explorer or it's going to be in the bottom of your browser, which is in my case. So go and open it up just like so. And you will go and get a Windows security pop-up, which you do have to agree to if you want to go and install it. So then you want to go and read through the license agreement, which I'm going to go and do now. And then you can go and click, I accept the agreement. And then you can go and click next. And then you can go and choose where you want to install it. So I'm going to leave it as the default. Then go and click next again and click install again. There we go. It's now gone and installed it. So now I've gone and installed it. All you want to do is come back to our preferences. You shouldn't have actually closed it off. But if you have, just go back into Audacity, go to edit and preferences and then libraries. Then all you want to do is come to FFmpeg library and go and click on locate. And when I go and click on locate, just like so, it actually goes and says success. Audacity has automatically detected valid FFmpeg libraries. However, if you don't get that, I'm going to go and show you how to do it manually. So I'm going to go and click on do you want to still do it manually and click yes. So then all you then need to do is go and click on browse. And as you can see, we need to go and find this folder here. So to do that, go and click on this PC. Then you need to go and click on local disk just here. And then you want to go and click on program files. Then once you're in program files, it will then be FFmpeg for Audacity. Double click here. We've then got this DLL file here and you can go and click on open. If it isn't in there, then you want to go and check out the program files x86 and it may be there instead. But in mine, it's under program files. So go and click on it and go and click on open just like so and then you can go and press ok, press ok again and there we go you can then go and use FFmpeg in Audacity. If you found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like for more, peace.